good people, welcome to Freedom with Frida, the best place for personal growth, entrepreneurship, and a touch of music because fun is necessary. Kindly subscribe if you haven't. If you've been here since day one, thank you so much for supporting this girl. Today we are talking about a video that was inspired by my previous video, which is right here, uh, where I spoke about changing your life in six months. And just, just because you want to change your life in six months, there are things that you need to understand, that there are things that you're going to go through. There's a price tag, you know, when you want something good, when you know want something valuable, it comes with a lot of sacrifices, it comes with a lot of money that you need to invest in, it comes a lot of time, it comes a lot of energy. So there's a price a tag that comes in, that comes through when you want to achieve or to change your life in six months. And that's what I am willing to speak with you today about just what is the price of this life that you want to change to what is the sacrifices you need to do what are some of the things you need to expect to go through okay so what is the price that you're willing to pay to get your life together in six months let's get into it the first thing is be ready be prepared to be alone be very prepared to be alone if you're choosing to do things your way if you're choosing to you know take that leap of you know i have decided i'm gonna do what i think is right for me there are those who are not going to believe in you there are those who are not going to be there for you there are those who are going to mock you there are those who are not going to understand what it is that you're pushing for what it is that you're going for your dreams your goals it's okay it's okay it's okay for them not to understand you but just be aware of it. Be aware that they're gonna detach. They're going to be like, I who you squeeze your body liquor. This person nowadays has changed. They no longer speak to us. They look like they are they kind of this come same that Kenyans do. Oh, you nigh and a John and come on fika. That way you're trying to chase your mental health, you're trying to chase your dreams, you're trying to chase your goals, and people just don't understand. So be very prepared to be alone. So that when it comes, you don't feel like, okay, I thought this journey was going to be easy. No, it's not going to be easy. Be prepared to be alone and it's okay. Sometimes it's okay. It's just a season. It's a season. You're going to lose friends. You're going to lose people who don't understand you. Sometimes even family, people are close to you, but just do the right thing. Do what makes you happy and go for that dream. Because when you achieve it, trust me, it's going to look for you. They'll be like, oh, I used to know this chick. This chick used to be a friend. Or this chick is a friend. So don't worry about being alone right now. It's okay. As long as you're doing the right thing. So price number one is hmm, you're going to be alone. The second thing that you're going to pay dearly is you're going to have late nights, sometimes early mornings, and a lot of fatigue. A lot of fatigue. And, and this has been happening to me the last few days like um you sleep late sometimes you just want to wake up early and you slept late so you slept for four hours you slept for three hours and you're like man i'm sleepy i don't know what to do i feel like sleeping i don't feel like waking up but the moment you remember it's just for a season hmm, that gives you a smile on your face i'm like i want to achieve this dream i want to get here this is what i want to get by the name the next six months then i am going to not sleep well for the next six months you know and when you get uh that time that you can you know take a day off and just sleep please rest please rest so just know that the prize here is going to be a fatigue it's going to be late nights it's going to be early mornings it's going to be you know just being out there and doing what you gotta do for you to be able to get there and i can promise you it's worthy everything so late nights early mornings and fatigue Number three, you are going to second guess yourself. Like you are going to feel like, is it, is it, am I doing the right thing? I ever realized then when you're actually doing the right thing is when you doubt yourself the most. Like literally that's when you doubt yourself the most. That's when you're like, am I, am I really doing the right thing? Did I do that the right way? Did I approach the right people? All that kind of a thing. So you're going to second guess yourself for a very long time before you can get to that thing. Because sometimes the good things comes with a lot of hard work, comes with a lot of assistance, comes with a lot of um, aggressiveness. So when it's not showing for what you're doing, you start to feel like, wow, I didn't do the right thing. I think I'm on the wrong path. You know, we just want things to start and start and get moving. 
it just doesn't, doesn't work like that and not not with dreams not with goals it will get to a point where you're like wow uh okay this this is not working there's no working for me and i really need to pursue i need i really need to focus because it can be draining it can be draining sometimes you will feel like giving up feel like it's taking too long but it's gonna get there so be ready for that be ready for that be ready to doubt yourself be ready to feel like you're not doing enough be ready to feel like you're not on the right path but just remember why you wrote that goal down why you wrote that dream down why you want to change your life in six months okay yeah number four the other thing that you are about to pay is you might have to give somehow free services and here i put free services in a quote because it's not necessarily free services this is coming from a lesson I've learned from Centronomy. Now, Centronomy, before they start any program, they normally call for Centronomy Open Day, which is a free session. They invite guys, they invite people who are known, they invite people who are doing well, they invite people with stories, they invite people who are doing, um, who have done quite well when it comes to wealth creation, so they can come and speak to us who are going there on an open day. And to them, that's a free session. To us, to, to us, sorry, it's a free session, like we're not paying anything for entrance. We're just going there for two hours, three hours, and uh, just register your name, leave your email, leave your number, and listen to these guys and, and you know, grab a few topics, a few tips, a few lessons, um, and move on. But to them, they're looking at it as these guys who come here will know what we do, they will know how we do it, they know what we offer. And we get 50 of them, at least 10 will sign. So like the last one we had, they came like over 2,000 people. Over 2,000 people. So you can imagine how many people will sign up for the next program. So sometimes you have to be ready to give that free in quote kind of service so people can understand what you're doing and do it your best so they can sign up for what it is that you're doing. Okay, let them know what services you're offering. And I think this applies most when it comes to services. Let them know what services you're offering. So now they can be like, ah, oh, okay, I think I should consider you. And then they'll refer and refer and refer and refer. And before you know it, business is coming in. So if you want to change and get that dream and get your goal coming through, let people know what you're doing and get strategies. It could be offering free service. It could be inviting people for a talk that is free. It could be inviting people, go that extra mile, lose that little shillings, lose that money. But know what you're doing that is you know your intention here is get people to know what i'm doing get people to understand why i'm doing it so they can sign up and come in and buy my services or buy my products okay so that's another price that you're gonna lose you might do free services the other thing is i think everyone knows this you might go broke when i decided to quit my job one thing i was extremely prepared for was to be broke like I knew I was going to be broke for a couple of years. I knew so that when it comes, I am not shocked. I am not frustrated. I'm not like, what? So get prepared to be broke. Okay. Because when you're ready for something, when it happens, it doesn't come as a surprise. It doesn't make you feel like, what? I didn't see this coming. Get ready for that. Get ready to be broke. Get ready to lose money. Get ready to have no money. Get ready to struggle a little bit, but knowing what your head, where you're headed and what dream you're approaching, you know, because sometimes you gotta push yourself, push yourself, go for those travels, pay for those courses, pay for those classes, pay for that coach, coaching session, pay that coach, pay that mentor, go, you know, just do whatever it is. And it's, sometimes it costs money. So the money that you, you put in the pocket sometimes might be coming out or sometimes you might not really putting be putting as much at this period that you're working towards to get your dreams or to change your life in six months so get ready to be broke okay and when you're prepared for these things man it comes and when they happen you're like i, I mean i expected this to happen and it doesn't happen I mean it's a plus for you you feel better about yourself you're like wow we're doing good we're headed the right direction so i hope this helps you um to just get prepared for the price you're ready to uh lose for a price that you're ready to pay sorry for the price you're ready to pay to get that which you want to get that dream to get that dream car to get that vacation there's a lot of things that's gonna happen nothing good comes without a sacrifice nothing absolutely nothing good comes without some sacrifice you have to let go of something so you can create space for something else okay so if you let go of good things and you're creating space for bad things 
ole wako. So you need to let go of the things that are not adding value. You need to let go of people that are not adding value. Habits, you need to have, be very self-disciplined, self-control to be able to stick to these things that you said you want to do so you can achieve that dream. You can achieve that goal. You can change your life in six months. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope this helps you to get moving and to change in your life in the next six months. Always be quiet of yourself and